you've really highlighted an important trend, the fact that we're wasting lots of money, wasting lots of perfectly good food because of a lack of workers to bring it to market. It seems almost immoral. It absolutely is immoral. Um, this, and it's actually the situation's getting worse. Um, earlier on in the year, we were, we were ourselves absolutely desperately short of workers. We employ about 700 staff ourselves at the peak. In May, we needed 300 people, and we could only get 120 people. Now, the reasons for that are uh, twofold. One is we, were, we had a lot of people due to come to us through the seasonal workers scheme. And they were recruited from predominantly from Ukraine. Obviously, due to the war in Ukraine, people couldn't travel. We then had to recruit from other countries, which we would have managed, or we did manage, but then it took six to eight weeks to get a visa processed to get those people into this country, which is just ridiculous. Whereas in Holland, Germany, where they have similar schemes, the governments there can process those visas within a week. So that led to some significant crop losses for our business. It amounted to 45 tonnes of asparagus, 700,000 bunches of spring onions, with a total value to us of about a quarter million pounds. Now, as well as that loss to us, we then had to replace that product with imported product with a higher carbon footprint, and that actually cost more. Let's go to you, Mark Summers, in Buckinghamshire. You are a beef and arable farmer, as I said. Tell us about the impact of a labour shortage on farming in your part of the country in terms of your business and the businesses of the farmers surrounding you. Well, it's very similar. Like, we have issues with people just showing up for work. And it's not even just in farming. It, it seems to be across the board. We have issues getting deliveries of uh, materials, of parts, um, massive delays on things because it seems that everyone is short-staffed. Um, we we have obviously there's a, a sense of urgency with what we're doing when we're harvesting crops, and you have people sometimes just don't turn up for work, and that creates massive logistical issues trying to harvest crops and and keep the system moving. In the past, Mark, a, a lot of my people, my family is originally from County Mayo. Like yourself, they came over to the UK, helped with farming, help. they were seasonal workers. We seem to be seeing a lot less of that now. We've just heard from Derek that it's been red tape, it's been visa shortages, time processing, it's taking too long. Is that what a lot of farmers are talking about, the fact that they can't get the staff from abroad because of red tape, because perhaps of Brexit? Well, that, that's a big factor. You have Brexit. Um, you have all the red tape that goes with getting a visa. Um, the other thing you have is because of the cost of living as well, as you were talking about earlier on, it's a massive factor. It's not really worthwhile anymore because the hours are long, the wages aren't really there to match it, and it's just easier to do other things, you know, or even with what we've had with people who have had COVID payments for so long that it's just easier not to work at all. Um, and some people just, did, I don't like saying it, but can't be bothered, which is, is quite sad, really. Let's go back to you, Derek, because, of course, we only, you know, a lot of people will po point to, to, to Brexit. I'd say that, you know, we've, we had, we've only had you know, freedom of movement between the EU and the UK when the UK was a member it was only for a, a few years, for, you know, for generations before that, long before we were in the EU, we managed perfectly well at welcoming uh, for overseas workers to the UK from elsewhere. So it's not as if we can't do this outside the European Union. In your view, is it mainly a red tape issue? Is it just a factor of processing these visas? Or do you need more visas in the first place? A bigger quota, better executed? We, we, it's a combination of both. We need more uh, rapid processing of visas, but we knew fundamentally we need a lot more visas. We've always had migrant labour to harvest the crops. That's happened certainly throughout my career. And at the moment, we've got, as you pointed out, we've got 38,000 visas available. We, as the NFU, we were lobbying for at least 55,000 for this year. Our total requirement for the industry is about 70,000. The balance has been made up with um, 
EU staff that have got settled and pre-settled status. But they are de a declining number every year, only about 50 to 60% come back. So we're going to need more people every year through the seasonal workers scheme. And this has always been the case, and I believe it always will be the case. We're told by government that we should be mechanising and we should be employing more British people. We are constantly trying to recruit British people and simply cannot find them. And as regards to mechanisation, as an industry, we've been very successful at mechanising parts, but we still need a huge amount of labour and we'll continue to mechanise where we can. Indeed, there are, there are certain soft crops you can only really pick and process and pack to a high standard but by hand. But what of what Mark Summers just said, Derek? Do you, do you agree that maybe the British workforce is getting a bit soft? When I was a student many moons ago, we would literally go crop picking and it was really hard work, but you got a good tan, you had a good laugh, you drank a lot of cider and you made proper money. But it made your back ache. Do students turning up now, are they reliable workers? For farmers? We, the problem, the big difference between now and when you were talking about is the salad, the season for harvesting fresh produce is much longer. So if you take something like strawberries, which used to be just four or five weeks throughout June and July, now that season is six or seven months long. So the students just don't fit the bill. And yes, it is hard physical work. And if there's easy work out there, people will naturally take that work. 